Now let's go over question number 1474, delete n nodes after m nodes of a linked list. So this is a linked list question. Given the head of a linked list and two integers, m and n, traverse the linked list and remove some nodes in the following way. So we're going to traverse through our linked list and remove some nodes. Start with the head as a current node. So we're going to start from the beginning. Keep the first m nodes starting with the current node. So m is what we keep. Remove the next n node. So this is what we remove. So m is keep, n is remove. Keep repeating steps two and three until you reach the end of the list. So you want to keep doing this until the end of our linked list. Return the head of the modified list after removing the mentioned nodes. So after we're done, we just return our head. So follow-up questions. How can you solve this problem by modifying the list in place? Okay, so this is an extra thing that you might want to try. So let's look at our example one. So we are going to have our linked list with 13 nodes. Remember that this is keep, m is keep, and n is remove. So how is this going to look? Well, you want to keep these two. You want to remove the next three. You want to keep, remove, keep, and remove. So this is going to give us a result of 1, 2, 6, 7, 11, 12, and 12 is the last one that points to null. So we want to have this as our result, right? Well, how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, what we have to do is we have to point our next properties. So for the first instance, so we want to keep one and two, right? And that means that we have to change our node two's pointer to six because you want to get rid of these three nodes. So we want to server this connection and set next property of node 2 to 6. Now, we want to do the same thing for node 7, get rid of this connection, and set node 7's next property to 11. This way, technically, we are getting rid of node 3, 4, and 5, and node 8, 9, and 10. Now, there is a edge case that we have to handle, and there is actually only one edge case, and that's when we have no more elements to delete. So this is what we have over here. So we are supposed to delete three elements, but right now we just have one, right? So we want to be able to server this node 12's connection and that set this one equal to null. Well, it's going to be different from other ones because if you notice node 2 has a next node, which is six, node seven has a next node, which is going to be 11, but 12 doesn't, right? So when we don't have enough nodes, to delete and point this node 12 to, we have to be able to set it equal to null to hint that we hit the end of our linked list and there is nothing to connect anymore. Try to figure this one out. So when we don't have enough elements to delete, we have to handle this one edge case. Think about how you can implement this. And I think this is actually the hardest part of our problem. So do give it a go. And if you get stuck, just come back to it later. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Now let's go over our first solution. Our first solution is going to have a time complexity of O of n and space of O of 1. Now this is our node class. It has two properties, value and next. This is our linked list, singly linked list, which has a property of head, which is set to null for now. And if we pass in an array for our linked list, it's going to just add all those values for our to our linked list. So I have my push method here. And I just implemented this to make our linked list work with initial values from our example. So now let's get to our solution. And the idea for our solution is going to be, well, we're going to keep a count of how many elements that we traverse through in our linked list. And then we want to check if we iterate through m number of nodes, remember that m is the number of nodes that we want to keep. You want to keep that current node to a variable so that we can set the next property of that node to the correct node in line after we delete n number of elements or nodes. So let's try to implement that. So first I'm going to create a variable named current 
and this is going to be our current node so that's going to be this dot head we're going to start at the head obviously and then next i want to create a count variable and set this equal to one and the next is going to be where i keep my node so that i want to point it to the correct one later and let's just call it keep node and we're just going to initialize it here now let's check if our linked list is empty if it's empty we just want to return Okay, that looks good. And now we need to be able to traverse through our linked list. So let's create a while loop. So as long as our current is valid, as long as it's not null, we want to iterate through or traverse through our linked list. And current is going to be equal to current dot next. So this way we are traversing through our linked list. And now let's increment our count by one each time. All right, that looks good. And now we have to do some checks. Well, if the count of elements that or nodes that we traverse through is equal to m we're going to keep those nodes right and the last one we want to keep it into a variable so that we can change the next pointer to the correct one well if you were to look at our example and our m is 2 and our n is 3 so we want to keep 2 and delete 3 well that means that we're going to keep 1 and 2 and delete 3 4 and 5 well I want to keep this two here to a variable so that later I can point it to six because six is going to be the next node in line and change the next property of node two. And next, I want to keep six and seven and I want to store seven into my keep node so that I can change the pointer to 11. This way I can get rid of eight, nine, and 10. Finally, I want to keep 12 to my keep node so that I can change my pointer to whatever is next. Well, there's a problem here. There's only one node that I can delete. So that means that this node has to point to null. And this is the edge case that we talked about earlier. And this is something that you have to handle. So for now, let's just leave it. You can think about how you can maybe do it. So try to think about it and let's just go over it later. So let's implement our first two cases first now i want to keep my node into a variable and this is the node that i have to change the next pointer to so if count is equal to m i want to keep my current node into this variable so keep node is going to equal to my current node all right that sounds good so that looks good right now there is actually one more thing now we have to be able to handle when we successfully deleted three elements so that happens when count is equal to n which is 2 m plus n right so that's when we iterate through or traverse through m plus n number of nodes so that's going to be count is equal to m plus n so if you were to look at this, this example again it's going to be five right so if we traverse through five nodes so that's one through five i want to store to is this if statement over here to my variable and now i want to set this node that i kept node two's next property to six so let's handle that so that's going to be keep node dot next is going to equal to six so how do we access this right now current is five well we can set it equal to current dot next and now there is one important thing you have to do we have to reset our count and we're going to reset it to zero and you might ask well why is it not one why is it zero and the reason is because well after we reset it we increment it over here so that's technically gonna make it to one so we just set it to one if you were to make it one after this line stops well, this line is going to evaluate and that's going to make our count to two and we don't want that now let's just return our head over here just to see what we get so far all right that looks good now if we were to look at our result we get one two six seven eleven twelve and thirteen and if we were to look at our result we need to get rid of our thirteen so we need to handle our edge case and again that's when our keep nodes the last node that we have to keep has to point to null now it's pointing to 13 because well you we weren't able to get node that's supposed to be here because our linked list ends at node 13 so how can we handle this so to handle this what we're going to do is we're going to have a another if statement and it's going to be up here so if our current nodes next property is null and 
m minus count is less than zero. What we want to do is you want to set keep nodes next property to null. So keep node dot next is equal to null. So let's just check our solution or our result, see if it worked. And you can see that it's working well, right? So 1, 2, 6, 7, 11, and 12. 1, 2, 6, 7, 11, and 12. So we were able to successfully get rid of our last node. Well, but how does this work? Well, let's just console log a few things. Well, if I were to console log my current, what should be our current? Our current should be 13, right? So if 13 is the tail, so that's the last node in linked list. If it's the last node and let's just console log one more time, console log m minus count. Well, what does this represent? Well, m represents the number of nodes that we have to keep and count is number of nodes that we traversed so far. So if this evaluates to a value that's less than zero, well, that means that we were able to keep m number of nodes and there's nothing more to delete. So if that is the case, you want to set our keep nodes next property to null. So this way we know that our linked list ended. So what happens if we just get rid of our this part? So let's see what happens. So what if we just check, well, if it's the last node here, you can see that it's still okay, right? But there is a actually a problem. If you were to look at a different example, if you were to look at this example, well, this example is actually looking good except for the last one, which is supposed to point to four. So now it's cutting our connection to node four. And that's because, well, what it's doing is, well, it's, is it tail? It's, it's just only asking one question. If it's tail, it's literally just servering that connection. And we don't want that, right? Just because our node is tail, that doesn't mean that we have to cut rest of our connection. So we have to keep this check to make our solution work. Here, you can see that it's looking good. So 6362924, we have our last node. And here, it's also looking good because we were able to successfully get rid of our 13. So this is our solution. Take a minute to let it sit through. And let's just go over our code one more time line by line now let's go over our code and let's just use this example over here so we have 1 through 13 we have our linked list with 13 nodes and we have all nodes pointing to the next one okay first thing we do is we set current to head so current is right now this node one and we have count which is just going to keep count of how many nodes we traverse through and keep node is just going to keep the last node that we are supposed to keep. Next line checks if our linked list is empty. If it's empty, we just want to stop and we traverse to our linked list over here. So this is where all the work is done. First thing we do is we check, well, is our count is equal to M and our M is right now two and our N is three. Well, right now it's not right. So this fails and we check, well, does count equal to m plus n no it's not so this fails well is it the last one so it's not so this fails so we traverse through now current is now node 2 and we increment our count by 1 so count is now 2 and we are at node 2 over here well is count equal to m well that's true right so we're going to keep our current node to our variable so keep node is currently node 2 well this one evaluates to false false and then we keep traversing through until our count is five and our count is going to be five over here at node five so when we get to node five our second if statement is going to evaluate to true and what we do is we set keep node dot next so that's our node two right so node two dot next is going to equal to current dot next well currently our node is five right so that's going to be five dot next which is pointing to node six right so two dot next is going to be to node six so this way we're cutting this connection and we are reconnecting it to node six over here and we reset our count to zero so this becomes zero now and this one is going to evaluate to false we traverse through our linked list by setting current to current dot next and now we hit this line which increases our count to one. So it's not going to be zero, it's going to start at 
1. Remember, we talked about why this has to be 0. And the reason is because we incremented afterwards. So if this was 1, it would automatically evaluate to 2. And we don't want that. That's wrong. So we keep doing this. We keep 6 and 7. 7 is going to be our keep node. And later, we want to delete up to node 10. And what's node 10.next pointing to? Well, it's pointing to 11, right? So 7 next is going to point to node 11. So we get rid of these three and we got rid of these three. So we have 1 and 2, 6 and 7, and 11 and 12. Now is our edge case. Currently, we are at node 13. Node 13's next property is null. So this is a tail. So our last if statement is going to value to true. Well, it's true that we don't have a next property because it's null. And does m minus count evaluate to less than zero? Well, what's our m so far? Well, m never changed, right? Our m is two. And what's our count? Our count is one, two, three. So it's three. That's negative one. Is it less than zero? Well, that's true. So this, both of them evaluates to true. So what we do is we set 11 next property to null. And we finally return our linked list and we are done. And remember that this handles our edge case and it's when we are at the tail and when there are no more nodes to delete. So no node to delete. If there are no nodes to delete, that means that 12 isn't going to get a node as a next pointer is going to get null, not a node. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks.